Well, hey there, my name is Robert. I'm one of the pastors here at Calvary, and I have your word for the day today. You know, a couple days ago when Joe kicked off this new study looking through the book of Proverbs, he challenged you guys to be reading one proverb a day uh, as we go through this. And I just want to renew that challenge to you. Uh, just take a few minutes. Maybe it's at the start as you're eating breakfast or drinking your morning coffee. Take a few minutes and read a proverb each day. It's incredible how God will speak through the wisdom of the book of Proverbs to just speak into your life and, and help you work through this. But, but I want to share with you uh, chapter three today, a few verses there that you've probably heard if you've been around church a while, um, but maybe like me for a while, you didn't fully grasp the significance of what these verses are challenging us to do. So I'm going to read Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 8. It says this. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing for your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Now, I first read this, you know, as a young teenager really getting into following God and reading the Bible for real. I remember highlighting verses 5 and 6. But really, at the time, uh, I thought that the significance of that was, hey, you need to, to make sure that you're, you know, on a, a good place with God and your relationship with Him, and He's going to make sure that you get to the perfect place in life and everything's going to line up and be wonderful. And so I thought, hey, if, if I want to be in a, a good place in college, if I want a good job, I just need to read my Bible and God will just kind of take care of everything. And, and I didn't really catch the full significance of what the book of Proverbs is telling us here. Because in a way, I, I saw this as, hey, if I just pray about the things I want to do, the, the career path I want to take, the opportunities I want to happen, I, it will happen. I just need to pray for them and God will just make it happen. And I was really saying, hey, God, here's my plans. I want you to put your stamp of approval on it. When the, the author of, of Proverbs here is really getting at a much bigger call to our life, a much bigger challenge as well because he's really saying, hey, I want to challenge you with where you're finding your authority in life. Because if we're honest, all of us want to make ourselves the ultimate authority in our life. And it's not that this develops over time. We're born this way. I've got a four-year-old and a year-and-a-half-year-old, and both of them would love to be the boss of our household, especially our, our youngest. She would love to, to be able to call the shots on everything that happens in our house. But that's not obviously how it works. But we also have to understand that even as adults, we're challenged here uh, of where we find our authority. Are we finding our authority in ourself or are we finding that authority in God and having submission to him? Because twice here we're challenged to, to not consider ourselves wise, to, to not trust in our own wisdom, but to submit that to God. So here's what I think this practically looks like. I think this looks like us actually submitting all of our life to God and not just saying, hey, God, put a rubber stamp on my plans, the things I want to happen, my career decision. Just rubber stamp that and say, yeah, that looks good. I'll bless that and I'll make those paths straight for you. But it's saying, hey, God, I'm going to fully submit to whatever direction, whatever leading you want in my life. I'm going to set aside my agenda, my priorities, my aspirations and ambitions Set those aside and fully trust and follow you. Because here in that, he says that, that it will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. So it's not just that this is, you know, a, a death sentence to all your dreams and aspirations, but the opposite. He's saying that when we submit our life to God and say, hey, I'm going to do whatever, man, it brings healing and refreshment into our life. And I know that as I began to see God change my plans, my directions in life, and line those up with the path that he had created for me, it was nowhere near the rubber stamp that I had prayed for as a freshman or sophomore in high school, starting out following Jesus for real. But, but it brought an incredible amount of, of refreshment and healing into my life. And Honestly, it was way better than any of the things that I was asking God to put his rubber stamp on. So I want to challenge you today that as, as you look ahead, whatever career decisions or family plans or long-term you know, thoughts that you have, it's not bad to plan. It's not bad to have aspirations, but I want to challenge you to bring those to Jesus and set them at the feet and say, I'm willing to do whatever. Here's what I'd love to see happen. 
but I'm more than willing to say, hey, Jesus, you lead me. You lead my life, my family, my job, my career, my ministry, my involvement in this area. And when we do that, it may not look at all how we intended from the start, but we know that, that when we trust in God and don't lean on our own understanding, he creates an amazing path for our life that's way better than what we could design on our own. So remember to live with humility of saying, hey, Jesus, I know you have a better plan for my life. I'm going to submit to it. It's not an easy thing to do, but we're reminded here that it brings healing to our life uh, and refreshment to us as well. So I hope that, that you can begin to take those steps of saying, hey, I'm going to submit my plans, my life, my future to God and let him be the authority figure in my life instead of me. This has been your word for the day. Hope that you enjoy it. Hope that it speaks to you and your situation. We'll see you next time.